Hey crew, welcome back to the Spiritual Social. I'm Lexi, your local light worker. It's such a pleasure for me to be coming at you today with another rose petals reading. You can't really see the rose petals yet because I have them here in my vintage cooking pot. <laughs> I decided to use these slightly orange, orange pinkish with a dash of yellow rose petals in order to read the patterns and help you find an answer to the topic. Where is your relationship heading? What is the outcome to your connection? I just felt very inspired to read for this theme today. I also felt inspired to combine some oracle cards with the rose petal reading. So I'm going to be using one card from Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers today. I just thought I would give you a message from an angel to help you with whatever sorts of a love or romantic connection you might be finding yourself into. There might be messages just coming here from non-romantic relationships i've opened the space for such a thing to happen so whether you are crushing on somebody trying to manifest somebody maybe you're in a higher order spiritual connection a twin flame relationship and you're just dying to understand where is this connection heading where is it going to end what is the culmination point what is the conclusion you want to know beforehand and i'm here to provide you with that answer i thought i would give you a choice of two colorful cloths so for group one i have here today this green cloth yeah and it has these white flowers on it they look like daisies or maybe you could also associate it with the palm stone that I have here. This is a green jade, the stone of wealth and prosperity. Yeah. And for group two, I have here this dark red cloth with these tiny flowers on it. They look like primroses to me. Or maybe you want to associate this with the carnelian palm stone, the stone of loyalty and devotion. Yeah. Okay, I already went ahead and felt inspired to pick an oracle card. I didn't snoop around. I don't know what message it holds. I want it to be a surprise as well. And I want to see for the first time if the oracle resonates with the energy I'm picking up from the rose petals. So we're experimenting today a little bit with um, combining oracle cards with rose petals. We'll see what comes up. I just want to give you all a great big hug. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the crazy support you are showing for these types of readings. Now that it's the season of flowers, I can source um, in an ethical and good healthy way. A lot of roses and I was also thinking of maybe using some peonies for my next reading because it is the season of peonies here in my region and I could never pronounce the name of that beautiful flower in English. I always think it's a bit weird. I think peony, peony. <laughs> Um, but in Romania we call them bujori. So maybe the next reading that I have for you will be one in which I'll be using my lovely bujori, one of my favorite flowers as well. So feel free to recommend down in the comment section what theme should I be exploring there? What question, what burning question do you have regarding love, career, family related situations? In the coming days on the spiritual social, I'll be uploading a variety of different readings because I know that not all of you are just interested in love even if love based questions are my most watched and popular ones and also i really enjoy doing this kind of topics so all this being said thank you for the support thank you for the encouragement i love you all so much i hope you took a moment now to see which of these two options pulls you in the most and yeah let's jump straight into it if you've made a choice let's find out what is the outcome to your relationship based on a rose petals energy reading hello group one so this is for those of you that were drawn to either the green jade palm stone or maybe the green cloth i also have an oracle message here for you let's open it and also i have your petals yeah so i'm gonna open the oracle card and i'm gonna sprinkle the petals And we are going to find out together what is the outcome to your connection. So you got a really gorgeous card, I can't believe it. We have here the Divine Physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Divine? divine. Why did I pronounce it so weirdly? Mm. Some of you have had your faith in God tested. 
Some of you might have struggled to believe truly that there is a higher power helping you, especially in the last three to six months. Mm -hmm. I feel that Raphael is not only bringing healing to the connection you find yourself in, but also to the connection that you share with the divine. Raphael is here to open up your heart to the idea that you are loved, you are blessed, you are protected. And that I feel that you're understanding that the best protection is just opening up yourself to the world, spreading comfort and joy and relaxation, making the world your home rather than believing that the world is against you and needing to protect yourself with a very fierce armor against the difficulties, vicissitudes of life. Yeah, so I'm going to put... Archangel Raphael over here. We're going to illuminate him. And let's dive straight into your reading. I'm going to put the cloth over here. My cat soul has um, completely eaten up one of my butterflies. So I only have this wing from it. It was broken in two. She really enjoys munching on fake butterflies. I'm not sure why. Maybe the meaning here is somebody that could have munched on your dreams. Somebody that made you feel trapped in a connection. Because a butterfly with a broken wing cannot fly anymore. Okay, let's see. Let's pick up on what is the outcome to the connection you find yourself in. Oh, yeah, yeah, breakage. Somebody is trying to break free from a connection that has been really, really bringing them down. Um, I feel like there used to be affection, but at the moment it just feels like there isn't, um, there aren't any points in common. Things are just breaking apart at the seams, and people are just trying to keep them afloat. There is something very coarse, just like the skin of this petal. Um, with wide pores and coarse lines, there is something abrasive about the situation you're not feeling comfortable you could be feeling like you're slipping on nails um the person that you are dealing with could be acting like a hedgehog you know they have those spikes there's a lot of defensiveness a lot of need to protect yourself but also the other person is protecting themselves so when two people are armored there isn't much of a common ground that could be struck between them it's like yeah again what am i doing oh my goodness so yeah the parts of this petal are coming apart the more i you, twist it in my arm in my hand sorry yeah arms arms um preparing for arms settling down the arms a farewell to arms like the famous novel and I'm getting a cold front on my right shoulder. I also feel this could be because we're having a visitation at the moment. Um, there might be a spirit that wants to come through. One of you at times could feel slightly possessed by an energy that is highly unconscious. Uh, so one of you could be struggling with some sort of um, psychological um, heaviness. I'm seeing here an entanglement. Yeah, I'm seeing a very complicated way of thinking that is blocking true light. I'm seeing here some, yeah, some detritus, some, one of you has some sort of um, curses that they are living with on the bloodline. I'm hearing the father, some, some tainted, um, a spiritual stain, um, something has been tainted. They are, uh, they are carrying a very heavy karma. And I keep tripping over my words. There are some uh, blocks in the capacity in which you guys can communicate. I feel like one may be trying the other one uh, to block the other one from speaking in some way. And maybe literally blocking one another on social media. Do you know what? I'm reminded here of FK Twigs' song, Pappy Pacify, in which she actually described being in a connection with somebody who kind of muzzles you, makes you not talk. And at the same time, how she found it to be slightly erotic, but also it was heavily toxic. So very complex energies, very complex feelings. I feel like this person really touched a chord inside of you, but it's like there is some sort of trauma um, 
that cannot be overcome so easily. I am not sure why, but I'm gonna tell you, I feel this is a little bit funny, but this shape of rose makes me feel of ang makes me think of angry birds. Angry birds? Maybe there's something about um is Angry Birds Finnish? Is it related to Finland, I think? Um, maybe, I don't remember exactly. I'm not such a big fan, but it just popped into my mind. Maybe this person is from Finland. Maybe you're thinking about traveling to Finland. Finland has been appearing a lot in my daily synchronicities too. I feel that one of you um, was paying too much attention to what other people were saying. I'm seeing here an ear, a very big, big ear somebody listening always paying attention especially susceptible to whispers um, somebody's nerves could have been stimulated by a lot of loud sounds um, i'm hearing a person that could get easily triggered by the words that their partner was saying so either you or them i'm seeing here somebody with a very sensitive sense of hearing triggered by a lot of the things that were saying and were said in this connection took everything to heart very very sensitive soul i'm also picking up that this could be a fan a fan like wanting to wanting to blush away to br uh, brush away to blow away there's some blushing happening here somebody is ashamed in this connection ashamed for what they said but still, there is a tear. There is something here that one of you cannot go over. Um, this connection requires so much sensitivity, empathy, and forgiveness in order to move forward. This is why I think Archangel Raphael is present. It wants to heal. It wants to repair. It wants to bring together, as you see, this firm caduceus of mercury, the symbol of healing, pharmacies and medical places all over the world. This is two opposing sides being brought together and healed through the snake energy, kundalini energy, the flame rising, the light being um, instigated into the hearts of two people that I think initially found that they have more things in common than what separated them but somehow along the line they got lost in I feel like it, they got lost in the difficulty of healing themselves because traumas and unconscious patterns and triggers started filling themselves up in your connection and it's like they created this wall this wall that needs to be broken down bit by bit in order for you two to be able to see each other for who you really were again at the beginning of this connection i'm seeing here an opportunity to spread your wings i feel again this could be an opportunity to travel maybe going on a holiday together could be deeply healing i also see this as a symbol of the holy dove you are getting divine support, okay? You are getting support from unseen places, mysterious benefactors. I feel like people around you see that you guys are struggling. Maybe you might not see them, but I feel like there are people that are willing to help you, willing to provide the space. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing something so beautiful here. I hope I'm able to show it to the camera. I see two birds falling asleep one next to the other. I don't know if you guys can see them. It's like they're falling asleep together. I don't want to separate them. Learning how to be together without needing to cross each other's boundaries and create anger, without falling into codependency. Being together in a healthy way, in a way that enriches your lives rather than takes away from your personality. I feel like one of you is so afraid of losing themselves and the other person because of this codependency. So learning how to be healthily together and healthily apart, maintaining that love and connection even if you're not together with the other one 24-7. Birds are also positive messengers. I feel that good news might be coming your way. I feel like um, also like in the affirmation here, 
Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. One of you could be sick, if not both of you. It could be that one of you is struggling with an actual sickness while the other one is struggling with the toxicity. Yeah, one of you could be uh, recovering from alcoholism or drug abuse and the other one might have a diagnosis of cancer or pneumonia or I, I don't even know, maybe Lyme disease or something that is quite... Um, HIV AIDS, for example, something that is affecting, affecting this connection on a deep level and affecting your capacity to truly be open with one another. It could be in some cases that this is a mental health diagnosis, right? Uh, like a, an obsessive compulsive personality disorder or borderline uh, personality disorder. Some of you I'm hearing multiple sclerosis as well. And I'm picking up on it's really strange, a bad smell. Yeah, wow, it's very powerful. Usually bad smells and a cold front coming in is a sign of some sort of haunting, some sort of ghosting. So I'm going to burn right now some Palo Santo to cleanse this negative energy. And there is no reason to be any bad smell around here in this room because my the doors and windows are locked and the space, I'm actually burning some um, vanilla candles here, the two ones that you see. So let me just cleanse the space because I feel like one of you has some sort of entity attachment that is making them sick, it's making them act in irrational ways, it's making them self-sabotage this love. You might need to see a spiritual teacher, an occult practitioner, a Reiki healer, an energy worker that is able to extract the entity, that is able to help in a healthy way detach the spiritual attachment to the body of the person affected. I'm not seeing very clearly which of the two, whether it is the attachment onto you or onto the person you are in a relationship with. Um, it's kind of hard because I do feel that you guys are quite interlinked. Spiritually, I feel like you're very, it's very hard to separate where you end and where the other person begins. Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have here? A scar. Mm -hmm. Somebody is like emotionally bleeding into this connection. I'm reminded of that song by Leona Lewis. Um, I keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Yeah, so a person associating love with pain, love with drama, love with chaos. It's like no matter how beautiful the circumstances are, one of you always falls back to this dark middle point. It could be depression, it could be anger, it could be a feeling of hopelessness, an inner void that no amount of love is able to fill. I'm also getting the sense that one of you has really beautiful lips and um, kissing is really enjoyable because of that. So that's a very weird side message that I was getting. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else that Group 1 needs to hear? No. Okay. I feel that this is it. Wow. Um, this was um, a bit of a therapeutic reading. I'm curious if it resonates. Maybe it won't resonate with the vast majority of you out there. Um, there are some beautiful tiny blessings coming your way, just so you know. Don't give up yet on this connection. There is some more holding space. There are some more interesting developments that will lead you both towards increased freedom. Yeah, Hang on in there if this is your case. Comment down below and let me know if this helped in any way. What are your circumstances? And please remember to like this video so that many more people will be able to see it if you have enjoyed it. I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye, my loves. Take care of your hearts. Hello, Pal2. Welcome to another Rose Petals Energy Reading. I hope you're having a good day. If not, let me make it better for you. I hope you'll find this relaxing and inspiring. So this is for those of you that were drawn either to the Carnelian Palm Stone or maybe you were drawn to this dark red cloth or potentially 
you are just drawn to the number. I'm going to put your cloth over here. And I have an oracle card. As I said in the introduction today, I'm combining oracle wisdom with rose petals energy. So let's see what card you got. Whoa, I'm so, so happy you guys got amazing cards. So we have here the spiritual support. I'm reminded here of the three godmothers that were sitting around Sleeping Beauty's head when she was born. So dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. You are definitely in a connection that is testing your capacity to accept, to surrender, to let go. You could be an individual that had a very well-planned love life and you're finding out that things might not be going according to that plan. But that doesn't mean that they're not going as they should be and that you are stuck in life. It is just maybe pushing you towards a different path than the one you have imagined. I'm going to put your card over here and now let's sprinkle some rose petals. I feel like your energy is a little bit more settled than group one. Group one was a bit more impatient. I'm picking up on that. And I have here from my <laughs> vintage cooking pot, um, I decided to put the petals in this one so we can cook up an answer for you. Okay, okay, wow, I'm seeing here such potential in this connection it's phenomenal it's a connection that will help you grow beyond your means in several different ways and in different directions as well yeah so we have here we see three buds growing expanding wanting to open up to burst to uh, settle someplace there is so much potential lurking in the situation i feel like you haven't even seen um 20% of it, you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. There's a massive mountain to be explored lying underneath the cold water surface. Yeah, so, so much potential, so much passion. Maybe you're wondering if this person truly feels anything for you. Maybe if they truly have a heart or if they desire you and the answer is yes i'm here to clarify that very clearly i'm seeing this cone-shaped conglomeration of petals this reminds me of um the cone that the angel israfel is using to sound the the beginning of the apocalypse i'm not saying that something horrifying is happening because the apocalypse the actual word the meaning is the great awakening it has nothing to do with great destruction but in order for something to awaken something else has to be surrendered it has to be let go of so it's kind of like you're letting go of a previous way of thinking about love and this connection is inspiring you to see love its potential the way you relate to a lover with completely different eyes maybe this person is opening up your heart to the idea of falling in love to, with somebody that is already a parent. Maybe this person is a single parent and you never thought you would be in love with a single parent, but this is the situation, this is the reality, and now you're kind of changing uh, the beliefs and values you had. Maybe this person is a divorcee and you never thought that you would be attracted to a person that um, has divorced or walked out of a long-term connection. Maybe you always wanted to be that person's first spouse and it just so happened that this is what that person's karma is. So now you're changing, now you're seeing things completely different and I'm also picking up that a lot more playfulness is coming into your energy. There could be some interruptions, there could be some people gossiping around you. I'm feeling the need to go like this, which tells me that there is a group of people, a collective here that is maybe putting some pressure. This could be a connection in which um, you are maybe drawn to a member of a different culture, religion or race. And it could be that in order for you two to be together, some prejudices need to be overcome. It could also be an age different relationship. That's also what I'm picking up on. One of you is younger. Yeah, we see this bud over here. And the other one of you is older, has more experience. I see a cloak. You see a cloak, like a mantle, almost like a Dumbledore's mantle. <laughs> if you know Harry Potter, yeah. Uh, or Gandalf's mantle, yeah. So uh, from Lords of the Rings. I see here um, 
people are keeping their feelings and their thoughts close to chest. There is um, something spilling up. Oh, sorry about that. I accidentally broke it. Um, but there is something spilling up, something that could be... Um, <laughs> I feel like one of you has feelings for the other one and it's showing, it's starting to show and there are cracks in this perfect veneer, the perfect mask that one of you is trying to maintain in this connection. I'm seeing here as well the potential for a pregnancy. So if you're having um, any sensual contact with this person, be mindful of the fact that it could leave you with a gift. Yeah leave you with a gift and I heard something smashing on the front door so um, it could be that this might come as a shock as a surprise I also see an orchid here yeah so the baby could be a boy uh, because orcas you know um, refers to testicle so yeah okay keep that in mind I'm picking up on the fact that the outcome to this connection could be an, a kind of really blended family, an unorthodox pairing. Um, like you two could come from two different cultures, two different religions. Let's say you're a Catholic falling in love with a Jew. Um, you're um, a person of African descent falling in love with uh, an European. Um, you're a person that... I don't know, it's 23 years old, falling in love with somebody that's 55. That's kind of the vibration I'm picking up on. And it's like, people want to pigeonhole you. They want to really, really criticize this connection. But at the same time, I feel like there is an opportunity here for you guys to grow beyond your limits. I see a lot of growth. So I see a lot of potential. It's a very different energy than group one. Um... With group one, I felt like things were in this difficult healing process. But with you, I feel like on the contrary, it's like, I think what is needed here, because I see this cluster of energy here, creating a different flower. It's like the petals are creating a completely different flower shape. See, it looks like a dahlia created out of rose petals. Exactly that. That is the essence of your connection. You're meant to bring your separate experiences and like a collage, like a cocktail, create something beautiful and new out of your experiences. Don't try to fit in. Don't try to box in your love into the prerequisites of society. Create your own niche. That's what's needed here. And that's the exciting part. I feel that, yeah, you guys can have a very large family if this is what you want. I see here at least three children. Um, I'm seeing here a number of relatives, one of you or maybe both, if combined. You have like a, an extended family that I think at the moment they might criticize this connection, but they will gradually end up supporting you more and more. Um, I'm seeing a nightingale and a woodpecker. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm seeing them over here. I'm seeing a duck as well. So maybe these animals are important to the areas where you guys live or where you are, um, where you've met. I feel that this connection is bringing ripples. I feel like you, your heartbeats are very strong and loud when you think of this person. This person is really doing something to you physically. This connection is really firing you up. This, this beautiful shades of soft pink. This love is just blooming. It's at the beginning. It's just budding. <laughs> There's wonderful, wonderful energy here. Yeah, well, I, I can safely say after looking at this energy here that you guys, you're not only spiritually supported by a team of angels in order to create this blossoming new arrangement of flowers from what you were given, and take the flower metaphorically this is like creating a relationship of your own making a good team together in front of forces outside of your control like societal pressures that are trying to box you into something you don't want to be part of and your connection cannot be part of something pre-made you're making it yourselves as you go along yeah so this is a lot about courage this is a lot about growth i'm feeling a very strong jupiter and mars combination here maybe your person's jupiter is touching upon your mars inspiring you to take action that makes the other person very happy and gives them a sense of possibility and opportunity and like you both are going places definitely not a connection 
direction in which you will feel stuck or stagnant. Definitely not a connection that could feel quite stable at the beginning. I feel that as you create your family, you will start to have more faith in the fact that your love is solid. Much like the... Um, the stone that you were drawn towards, carnelian, yeah? This is the stone that um, is usually associated with Capricorn energy. And as you guys know, Capricorns, they need to put in a lot of hard work in the material world in order to achieve stability. But once they do that, it lasts for ages, yeah? Whatever a Capricorn builds lasts. So it's the same with you guys. It's like in spite of... Um, criticism in spite of um, raised eyebrows in spite of uh, prejudices being thrown at you persevere and create your own kind of family your own blend of relationship this could also be i'm feeling a connection between two people who are highly spiritual and they understand telepathic communication they understand energy work but it's hard for them to talk about these things with other people without appearing a little bit crazy or out there yeah so yeah i just i see here a discovery a discovery growing and and like i feel that through the model that you're creating you you will inspire other people to follow suit so maybe right now you don't see the results maybe right now you both feel like the world is against us or there is this resistance that you need to push against but eventually it will smooth over it will smooth over just like the back of this petal you see how smooth it is yeah you see how perfectly contained it is if i fill it with some water we'll hold it in such a graceful beautiful way it holds weight in a beautiful way I feel that this is what's happening here. Grace under pressure for both of you. So exciting. I don't know. I feel very excited. And there's water coming out from my nose. So a lot of water, a lot of emotions. Um, but I also think that it's um, the excitement, the adrenaline, the palpitations of making this happen. Of maybe initially having a connection in secret and then like sharing it with the world. Yeah, butterfly wing. I don't know why, but this to me speaks of a butterfly wing. Um, sorry, this is my old camera, so I have to manually adjust the focus. Yeah, exactly. See, persevere. Don't give up so easily. If you can't see things clearly, if you're being confused by so many diverging opinions, persevere until you get a sh clear, sharp image. The butterfly transformation change making something completely new out of what you were given we have a beautiful expression in romanian which is which basically could translate into create a paradise out of what you were given so maybe you're not given much in life but try to enjoy it and appreciate the little that you are given because the more you do that the more your paradise grows and increases yeah and I don't know why I feel very, <laughs> very emotional when I said that. Maybe that's important for you to hear as well. It could be that you guys are struggling financially and all this. Um, yeah, I see a crane holding its, its uh, offspring with fierce tightness. Yeah, you guys are going to create a lot of emotional wealth. Like you're going to be excellent parents if you decide to have children. You'll be so protective and nurturing and... You shouldn't be afraid of taking that big leap into parenthood. I feel that at least one of you has already done that. Um, and it will inspire the other one to have courage to do so too. Things fitting one into the other, fitting perfectly. You might not think that these shapes could fit together, but they do. It's all fi yeah, fitting in, everything in its right place. Everything contained, everything as it should be. You guys are creating new rules for love. Wow, it's so exciting. I think I'm gonna end it here because I don't wanna say more. Maybe I'll spoil it. Um, let me know down in the comments if this resonated in any way to your particular situation. I feel like some of you are actively trying to manifest such a love and it has great potential, okay? Manifestation is coming true. And um, remember that if you like this video, please give it a like. 
um, an actual like here on YouTube so that it gets distributed to other people who might benefit from hearing these messages. I would appreciate that so much. And yeah, do remember to comment. I love to hear from you guys and also what other topics I could do for you with the help of Rose Petals. Well, the dog barking outside is my sign to close this reading. God bless you. Take care of your heart and see you in my next one. Bye.